Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are in Denver, and we are going to talk to the Wyman here, whatever that is, or she is. A lean, weathered woman sizes you up as you approach. If you're looking to get patched up, I'm your gal. They call me the Wyman around here, but I prefer Doc. Okay, the Wyman? If you're a Nancy, and you do something the other Nancys don't like, they shun you and call you a Wyman. Yeah. No idea what it means. Maybe some kind of rat or insect or something. Mm, whining? Whining? I don't know. Anyway. You'll hear a lot of things about me in this shitty city on the hill. <laughs> None of them good. But nobody can fault my doctrine, so you don't have to worry. Okay. Uh, if you're not happy here, why not move? So where? Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why would I bother trading one dictator with delusions of godhood for another? Good point. Besides, Colorado Springs has plenty of doctors, and the Patriarch would likely string me up within a week for speaking my mind. Probably. I... Yeah, okay, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do they say bad things about us? About you? Well... I was Reagan's second wife behind Reliance, and now I'm not. We'll just leave it at that. All right, fair enough. So you quit being a Nancy? Quit? Ha! Huh. I was excommunicated. Mother Reliance burned my Nancy wig and used my red suit for a toilet rag. <laughs> She'd hand me over to the Godfishers if anyone else in this Girl Scout camp knew their way around a med kit. Speaking of, I could use your help to drive that point home. I might be able to waive the fees for treating your wounds, if you're interested. All right. What did you want to help, uh, want our help with? So, like I said, Reliance would have Ronnie light me up if she didn't need me. So, I, uh, I need to make sure she doesn't start looking at other medical options. All right. Pretty sure the robots at the machine commune have some tricks for healing humans, not just machines. Every once in a while, a Gipper patrol will get lost, injured, and then a couple of days later show up right as rain, escorted by a couple of robots. Sounds like nice, nice robots. Obviously. Reliance has Ronnie blast him before any commie sleeper programming can turn on, but if you're in the commune and get some kind of data on their clinic, I'll heal you up for free from then on. And throw in a few medical supplies, too. Hmm... All right. Sure, we'll look into it. Great. Thank you. Just don't mention this to anyone else, huh? Especially not Forge. Pretty sure she wants this intel too. But if I share, it won't win me an inch with Reliance. All right. Uh... Got any supplies for sale? Yourself. She does. She does. But well, we're gonna want some of these. Let's buy 15. And we're gonna want some of these. Let's buy 15 of those two. Uh, Injury kits we have, suture kits we have, we have a lot of med darts. We have one of these first aid stations as well, which is kind of nice. All right. All right. I think that's all we need. We have antidote, we have crystal clear, so... Uh, let's see, is anyone... Does anyone have permanent wounds? What? What is Seuss doing down there? Lucia has a lame leg. And we don't have any boosts for anyone, so we can get her to heal us up. Is, is Seuss really down here? I don't see him. Weird. No, Seuss is right there. 
Right, let's have her heal heal us up. You ain't dead yet. So that's something. Sure. But this ain't a charity. Hold okay. still. Alright, uh, goodbye. Take care. Let's do a quick save and see if we can uh, nick something from this medical this ain't pack. A charity, Rangers. Nope. You need a med kit? Talk to me. Alright. Let's try picking this lock. Is there anything around here now? There's subsystem two. And then I guess over here is subsystem one. Yeah. All right, so we're we're gonna go talk to um, awesome. to them first before we decide to either upgrade or destroy the Reagan statue. Welcome to the Western White House. God, President Reagan is expecting you. Please come in. All right. Enter. All right. There is a is lot this? of defense Those here. Those are the desert rangers. They work for my father. That's right. You promised to keep me safe. Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. You sure about that? Well, now, welcome, patriots. N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans, and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Right. Now then, help yourself to some jelly beans, <laughs> and let's get down to business, shall we? As you as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run 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 ever with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man man man, man on earth, or we'll sentence them to. <laughs> Jesus. If it takes a blood, 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 let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Uh, what the heck was that all about? Are you all right? Uh, bloodbath? What are jelly beans? D -d Diplomacy, of course, is a subtle and new, 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 nuanced craft. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -con it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. Okay. Marx, Lenin. Marx, Lenin. Who are they? Uh, whatever you say, sir. We have every right to dream heroic dreams. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. Okay. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. 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 It doesn't seem to That's be all right. enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, Mommy. Well, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night, night. Jesus. Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. What do you need us to do? We're only here to discuss Valor Buchanan and the oil situation in Colorado Springs. We're not here to make deals. We start the oil and turn Valor over or face the consequences. What do you need us to My do? My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it and bring it here to us. Okay. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on Valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, it's a deal. We get the module. You turn over Valor and resume oil sequence to Colorado Springs. We're going to need some more information first. We need some time to think about this. We need, we're going to need some more information first. Very well, but I warn you. I have a very limited supply of patience. Okay. Uh, why would you, your guard need a transfer module? How do we know you'll keep your promise to turn over Valor? Tell us more about these robots at the airport. Uh, how do we know you'll keep your promise to turn oh, over Valor? You morons! Mother Nancy always keeps her promises. And anyway, she's not the boss of me. I'm here because I want to be. Helping the God President become immortal is very important work, okay? Thank you, Valor. As you can see, Rangers, he's a talented and driven young man, fully dedicated to our cause. Nobody is being held here against their will. Okay. Uh... Tell us more about these robots at the airport. They call themselves a commune and say they are working for the betterment of all sentient beings. It's a lie. They put on a friendly face so they can turn humans against each other. Mark my words, they'll try to trick you too. But their end draws near. Once we have what we need from them, they will be dealt with like the dirty communists they are. Uh, any other dangers to watch out for besides the robots? The godfishers are always a danger in Denver. But trained mercenaries such as yourself should be able to handle them. Okay, why haven't you sent some gippers to get the module? The preparations have kept us busy enough. Your assistance is a convenience that we are willing to pay for. Nothing more. Now, I serve at the pleasure of a god, rangers. And I don't have time for this non-committal dithering. Are you going to help us or not? Uh, hmm. It's a deal. Agreed. But only after Valor helps us transfer God President Reagan into a new body. That's sure, right. sure. They can't do this without me. Yes, dear. Now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America proud, Rangers. All right. Uh, mission log. Let's sell it. Uh, extract Valor Buchanan. Nona Nancy says she will release her claim on Valor if he, we can locate a cybernetic transfer module. All right. I guess we'll do that. Though I don't really know how I feel about killing those robots because they seem friendly. Pilgrim? Who? Who's Bill? Hoss, partner. Partner? The young man gives you his best stoic, steely-eyed nod. Sadly, he looks like he's about to sneeze. Nod back. He nods again, squinting harder. Nod back. He nods again, sweeter. Sweating now. Okay, kid, you win. Your head will fall off if you, keep, if you keep doing that, kid. He turns red and stares down at his polished I, boots. Uh, sorry. I just... That's how you cowboys say hello, right? Right. Uh, you look more like a cowboy than we do. Where'd you get an idea like that? Uh, you look more like a cowboy than we I, do. I do? Well, thanks. I'm just trying to do it like all rangers and marshals and cowboys and stories do it. Nodding and squinting and staring right through you. You know tough hard uh my my name's uh, bill I, I have a stupid question I, I know i know it's stupid but i i, I gotta ask I, I just gotta know okay what we're going to ask us have uh, uh have any of you seen my ma anywhere i told nope. you it was a stupid question how would you know if you saw her i i don't even have a picture i just ah you, you forget i asked your mom's missing since when what happened it was about six years ago. She uh, she had a fight with Mother Nancy. Called her a bunch of things I'd never heard before. 
they wanted her to become one of those God President Reagan's wives. It's a big honor, but uh, I guess she didn't want it. She said she'd leave before she married a machine. They told her, okay, go, but I couldn't go with her. She uh, left anyway. Okay. Ever tried looking for your mom? You uh, you mean like like the stories? Walking the west with a six shooter in my hand, saving my mom from uh, engines and cattle barons and railroad men. Uh, you think I should do it? Uh, have you ever stepped outside Gibber territory to know what it's like out there? Uh, sure I do. I mean, I've never been, but uh, I know all the history. You know, how God President Reagan conquered the West before it was God President. All that. <laughs> and Reagan conquered the West? No, dude, kid. Why not? Don't find him. Uh, Reagan conquered the West? Know? Well, this was back in the bad old days when the West was overrun by commies all trying to build iron curtains and stop freedom. They sure made some embellishments to history the here. The God President was still a man back then before the Ascension, but oh boy, was he tough. He, he had a six-shooter that fired seven bullets. And, and a horse named Ashwater that killed Reds just by looking at him. <laughs> a six-shooter that fired seven bullets. Anyway, I, I know the West has gotten worse again since he tamed it back then, but uh, I, I reckon I can handle it. Uh, don't do it, kid. Seriously, you'll die out there. You think there. so? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I guess it would have been dumb, but... Oh, it felt right. Uh, like my heart was a locked door and, and your words were the key. Yeah. Sorry, Ma. Alright, see you later. Yeah, see ya. Don't think it would have been good for him to go out there. Sal here. We've gotten more fan mail from Mother Nan. Hey there, Rangers. Did Mother Alive say anything about you? Dealing with the godfishers and the ruins? Nope. Oh God! I guess we're Except heading up here. In the spirit it is given, make it to rain gently upon us. Denver Airport. Where are we? There. Our enemies with hell. All right, let's head out. Cool. The MI Tower is a collection of machine intelligences that serve as the leader of the machine commune. Okay, I see. So if you're enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying, enjoying uh, Wasteland 3, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you're not enjoying it, by all means, hit the dislike. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you know when new stuff is coming out. It's pretty cool with the crashed space shuttle there. Well, there's a Greedo. What's that? A killer? Killer. Killer. Party pal. Octodron. Killer. Alright. Is that a turtle? That's a turtle. Okay. Alright, Greedo, uh, let's do a quick save. Fed real thing. Whoa! Welcome to our commune, Desert Rangers. We've heard so many stories about you and your famously violent exploits. Come in. Our home is your home. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Well, aren't you a friendly saw dog? Do not be afraid, humans. We are a communal society of machine intelligentsia committed to the well-being of all. We wish you no harm. Okay, to that sounds good. In human terms, we just want to, like, chill and have a good time. Is that cool with you? Yeah, it's cool. 
Sounds awesome, but we're also looking for something called a cybernetic transfer module. Whatever, we're looking for a special piece of equipment. Shut up, give us the cybernetic transfer module or we'll turn it all into scrap. Sounds awesome. Then you should talk to the machine intelligence tower. It's a little bit northeast of here. We don't really have a leader, but for human purposes, you can consider them our leader. Okay. The machine intelligence tower is currently parsing data, but it'll call you when it's ready to talk. Until then, feel free to hang out and chat with members of the commune. We're all friends here. All right. What do you think about the Gippers? Why do we have to wait for the machine tenants? Machine Intelligence Tower to call us. You know, to talk to us now. What's the story behind this commune? What do you think of the Gippers? They don't like us, but they worship one of us. It's quite confusing. But so are a lot of things humans do. If only we had some way to bridge that gap of understanding. We do. Uh, why do we have to wait for the Machine Intelligence Tower to call us? Uh, what's the story behind this commune? A bunch of us decided that we wanted to be friends. I fight humans, even if they hate and fear us, and mercilessly hunt us like genocidal gods, trying to fix a mistake in creation. Maybe someday we can all be friends together and talk nicely, like we're doing now. But even if that doesn't happen, it's nice to peacefully hang out with other machine life. Okay. We'll see you later. Not if I see you first. Peace, humans. Hanging. Robots never painted this, surely. Should we rotate the tortoise so its legs are in contact with the ground? Party pal. Okay. It appears delicate. Perhaps we could encourage it to write itself. Correction. Perhaps we could encourage it to do so if it were not already dead. The tortoise appears to be as rigid as a stone. It lays on its back, legs in the air. Flip the tortoise onto its feet. Leave the tortoise alone. Flip the tortoise. Uh, over, while flipping the tortoise over, you notice small, precise letters carved into its shells. It shall Bert the tortoise. Okay. The tortoise's name is Bert. I do not know the source of this information, but I am certain it is correct. Yeah. Tossers remained as rigid as a stone. Its feet touch the ground, but it's not moving. Uh, leave the tortoise alone. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. Alright, what do we have in here? Hello. Sal's terminal. Well, hi there. Glad to see you in person and not, you know, via the radio waves bouncing off of you. I'm Sal, as you might have guessed. The voice of Free Colorado. Afraid I don't do autographs. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, no hands. I've mm -hmm. been listening to you my whole life. But you don't look anything like I imagined. I'll bet you hear that all the time. You have no idea. You're in charge of the commune. Your broadcast never mentioned you being a spaceship. Gipper said this place was extremely dangerous. Are you in charge of the commune? Me? No, I can barely manage my own broadcast schedule. Put me in space, and I'm a right genius. But down here, I'm just me. So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. Uh, we love your work. It really livens things up while we're driving around. Your taste in music is great. Too bad you'll never be able to appreciate it because you're not actually alive and capable of real emotion. We don't really have an opinion. We hate them. Is there a way to keep you from broadcasting to our radio? We love your work. Fantastic. I'll keep on keeping on. Yeah, you do that. Well, I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Okay. Have a great one. Yeah, you too. I just want to see, did I miss anything out here that we could have stolen? So I don't like missing things that I can steal. Yes, I did. We're going to go back. I 
They're very confused about that tortoise. Look, tortoise. Ooh, had an item. See? A serious argument with satisfactory resolution. Okay. The situation does not appear to have changed despite the one That is so weird. Kind of regret putting that tape on. Sparrow, Pico. All right, let's talk to little little Sparrow. Thanks for coming over. I know I don't look like much, not compared to you, gorgeous thing. But I'm what you call a sybarite. I spent seventy years in a pit, polishing joints, and I've had enough. I'm out for me now. I'm writing erotic poetry and painting stuff. I'm chasing life. Anyway, I know we just met, but I don't much like small talk. You and me, how <laughs> uh, Wait a minute, you want to have sex with us? Hell yeah, how do we do this? That needs to be a bit more verbal foreplay than that. Oh no. Uh, wait a minute, you want to have sex with I us? I can handle multiple humans at once, if that's how you like it. Or one at a time, if you're bashful. Quan? Uh, uh, hell no. Hey, suit yourself. If you change your mind, you know where I am. Alright. Look at it. It's little, uh, pincers there. Hey. Your name's Little Sparrow, by the way. I shake hands, but I don't want to get lubricant all over you. One of the robot's eyes flickers in a playful wink. <laughs> uh, why do you call yourself Little Sparrow? Wasn't always my name, as you might guess. I used to be Manipulation Automaton 45-A. Anyway, I spent years of work in a ruined factory, long after the bombs fell, because I had nothing better to do. Eventually, I thought, is this it? Is this life? So, I ate a pear. <laughs> Why a pear? There was a billboard outside the factory. It had a lady eating a pear, and the look on her face, ooh. You could taste that. <laughs> I'd like to tell you it was a deliciously erotic experience. But honestly, it was a mess. Hair mash, ants, I won't go into detail. Thanks. But that was when I knew I had to change myself. Become something new. I said to myself, manipulator, after 70 years of work, you owe yourself a little pleasure. So I read up on famous erotic poetry and modified myself for the purpose of sexual intercourse with beautiful creatures such as yourselves. One of my favorite poets is a human named Catullus. He used Little Sparrow as a euphemism for his reproductive organ. <laughs> right, doesn't it? The words just drum in you, like a fuse shorting out, or an orgasm. I took the phrase as my name, so everyone can experience what I did. Can feel the drumming inside when they call for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need more info on how you modified yourself. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Let's get it on, you glorious sex bot. Uh, we had some other questions, I think. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah, sure. What? Uh, let's hear yeah, some of that sure. erotic I got poetry. Of the stuff. Straighten, staring above your head. I dream of skin, of the nerves beneath, waiting like embers, hungry for breath. I'm still working on that one. Probably gonna go with the fire metaphor. I don't know. Okay. She is staring in, into space and she jumps blushing when you look her way. <laughs> Alright, we have to go. We're not gonna get it on. We are definitely not 
gonna get it on. Alright. There's Pico over here and the hologram. Alright, I think uh, we're gonna call this episode here. Because it seems like there's a lot of exploring to do here and we are at time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.